Now let's go on because multiplying in parts ties in with area of rectangles very closely. You see, whenever you have a multiplication, you can think of a rectangle, right? This would be how you would calculate the area of a rectangle that has one side 7, the other side 84. But here I have a rectangle that's broken into two rectangles. The whole rectangle, the total area of the whole rectangle is this side times that side, right? Let me write it as 3 times and then this as a sum, this side as 4 plus 7. I need parentheses though. So this is actually a multiplication of 3 times this side, right? 3 times 4 plus 7 and this side is written as a sum, 4 plus 7. I can also view it as two separate rectangles, where the first rectangle has the area of 3 times 4. And the other rectangle here has the area of 3 times 7, right? And to get the total area, you would add those two areas, like that. These two expressions I wrote are equal. 3 times the quantity 4 plus 7 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 3 times 7. That's exactly what we did here, right? I had here 7 times a sum, and then I had here the two multiplications and addition, okay? This is the same exact thing. What we're actually doing here is we're studying and using the distributive property, but just I haven't told you the name because you can think of multiplying in parts and it feels easy, right? Now here, we are going to draw the rectangle that matches with this multiplication. Think about it a little, can you? Think in your mind, what will be the side lengths for my rectangle model? Okay, just like here, the 3 is the same number here. Look, 3 and 3. And 3 went here. So here I have 5 as my same number, as the common factor, and 5 goes here. And then the other two sides are 2, let's make it short, and then 9, like that. So here's my rectangle model for this particular multiplication. I will also write it in this manner, okay, as the total area where I have this times this whole thing. 5 times, and this whole thing as 2 plus 9. There. And these two expressions here are equal. 